<laughs> so what can you tell us about season two, how your characters are going to be interacting this season as opposed to last season, where you were kind of reluctant friends, but now, like, I hear you're supposed to be solid allies this season. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, season one was about them learning each other. You know, they... You know, it was, it was a lot about the audience learning who they were as individuals, but Ty and Tandy were finally get, you know, getting to know each other. And these are two people that usually don't let people in and, and don't really trust people. So the fact that they had that connection with each other was something that really ultimately brought that friendship to fruition. So this season, we kind of pick up where we left off, where we kind of just saved the city, saved the world together. So... You know, we, we have that connection just from that period. Um, and, you know, Ty is kind of going crazy in the church being by himself. And um, there's there's a part of him that wants to tell Tandy what he's going through. But, you know, seeing Tandy and, and you know, kind of finally getting better with her mom, getting a better life, um, he doesn't want to ruin that. So there's, there's an interesting dy dynamic there, I would say. Um, but... Also, you get to see them grow together as a team, so a superhero team. They're finally starting to embrace superpowers and you know, see that there's, there's a city that needs saving. And I think we might be the people to do it. Jeff mentioned you guys do a lot of stunts and physical things. Mm -hmm. uh, was there a favorite thing that you did this season? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I, I don't If we tell you, we might give away the season, so... I think, I think what was really cool about this season was we obviously go into a more physical part of our realm and being and characters and I think for me per se, I personally love that and like we did, we got to partake in a lot of our own stunts which was really cool, obviously the ones that were safe and, um, and I know that Emma and I got to uh, sort of choreograph some of our own stuff and like we got so giddy about that kind of stuff because you know obviously like we get to that's sort of like you get to only put in your own like create create creative control and I think like that's what's really exciting about all that kind of stuff is you're not just you're not just choreographing it and then you go in and you learn it like you're putting in what you think your character would do in, in certain positions and um, it's really fun we definitely got our steps in this season and, uh, <laughs> Lots of battle scars, but all for good reason. They look so good. Yeah. The show you. deals with such very serious and touchy topics. Like last season, we talked about suicide and sexual assault, drug addiction. So, how do you, as actors, you know, responsibly discuss these really touchy subjects on a mainstream superhero show like this? I, I mean, I think we definitely just realize how important it is that you know. Marvel is one of the biggest platforms in the, in the world, um, so the fact that we get to tell a story to an audience that maybe not, they, they might not necessarily know a lot about these issues, you know, certain people, so it's kind of like we're educating certain people as well, so there's a lot of weight that that holds, um, but it's, it's, it's really about just knowing that there are a lot of people that go through these things and kind of tapping into that and, and the reality of it, and uh, you know, knowing that, you, you, you can't just give a lackluster performance when there, there are people that are actually in pain from things like this. So it's, you know, it's, it's about bringing that to life so people can see it and maybe finally understand it and comprehend it and see that, oh, you know, not everyone is privileged or, or there are actually women being taken, you know, against their will and things like this. So I think that's the beauty of our show, that we get to tackle, you know, real life issues like that. And Tanya and Tyrone can talk about it all day long. Mm -hmm. They can sit there and they can chat, but they don't want to do that. They want to take action and do something about it and they're not going to stop it now. Right. Well said. Talk about Ty and Tandy's reaction to mayhem a little bit this season. <laughs> I think they're confused. <laughs> they're like, what is going on? Um, I think I think Tandy and Tyrone really have been put in a tricky position, um, and we're really going to challenge the audience a lot this season on the opinions that they form, understanding what is right, understanding what is just, and Tandy and Tyrone are going to do that to each other as well. They're going to challenge each other on what they feel like is right in this certain circumstance with mayhem now coming to the table and, and all the opinions that she has and the decisions that she's going to make and um, and Tandy and Tyrone definitely are listening but it's it's the decision 
what are they going to do now that there is somebody new in their lives that they don't really know how this happened or what they're capable of or what they can do. And so, yeah, it's going to be a challenging lesson for them to learn. I was going to say, real quick, tease. Can you tease, like, one sentence, season two? <laughs> Challenge. Um, I'll let you take the bait. Yeah. Take the bait on this one. Oh yeah, that's a tease. Bigger they love better. that one. I think there's gonna be what, what I love about each episode is, and Jeff said this really well earlier. It is a to be continued every right. single episode. So you're gonna be left on the edge of your seat, wanting more every single episode because it is bigger and better. But at the end of the day, like there's a lot more story to dive into, and um, on and in every single character. Characters, like situation. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, appreciate it.